Uh, so, Jim, we've got a few questions today around the news that has been in the sun that Rishi Sunak is about to drop the legal but harmful clause in the online safety bill. Now, Org is taking the lie that this won't protect free speech and it's actually gaslighted. Why, why is that? Well, so there's two problems here. Firstly, there are a lot of free expression problems in this bill and legal and harmful is just one of those. But secondly, it doesn't remove the requirement to filter so-called legal but harmful material out if you haven't got an age verified adult so adults are allowed to see this material so long as you know that they're adults if you think that this person might be a child then you have to filter it so the filtering doesn't go away we just have filtering um for anybody who hasn't sort of been proven to be an adult and of course we don't know exactly what that looks like but you can imagine that sites like reddit um facebook um Twitter, all these are, are going to have to check whether people are children or adults or, and, and then prove uh, what, exactly what's going on. And yeah, so for a lot of sites, that's a lot of censorship. So that's huge, isn't it? And, and we don't know how that will happen then. So you'll you'll go onto the internet and before being able to get onto Twitter or Reddit, you'll have to like, because otherwise they won't know who's an adult or a child, will they? No, so there'll be tools that attempt to guess this. There might be requirements to upload uh, documents like passports or driving licenses. Um, you you know, it might be taking photos and doing sort of AI judgments about how old you look. There are all kinds of things that might happen, which are all pretty intrusive, to be honest. Um, but those requirements will be placed on those companies. And of course, then you've got the prospect that some of the companies will say, well, actually, we, we're just not going to do this uh, for the just for the UK market. Um, our customer base is too small there, so we're going elsewhere. Uh, we'll just block UK IP addresses in order to avoid these legal requirements. Yeah, so that, that like big companies pulling out of the UK, uh, earlier in the year, it was WhatsApp, wasn't it? The, the chief executive was warning that if the online safety bill goes ahead, then they might just pull out of... Uh, UK entirely as a market because the, for them, you know, the UK is big for us, but for them, it's only a small percentage share of their total. I mean, how? Why is that? Why would? What's that? Yeah, I think it's it's less about the market share for them, which is fairly enormous, right? Well, obviously not on a global level, but they've got forty million UK users. It's a significant number of people. The problem for them is that the bill has these requirements to monitor for illegal material despite uh, there being encryption in place. So it's basically asking for encryption to be removed in certain circumstances to look at everybody's messages in order to check for for illegal material. Now that starts with uh, child abuse material. Um, but once you have that technology in place, as we saw with Apple, you basically placed a censorship mechanism on encrypted content for any government to ask uh, for anything to be monitored for. So that could be people who don't like their royal family being insulted. It could be uh, copyright infringement. It could be uh, things like defamation. You know, you just don't know at this point where that goes. But the idea that you can maintain encryption and still read messages is also obviously nonsense. And that is very problematic for, for WhatsApp. So it doesn't want to install essentially government spyware into messaging systems uh, just just for the UK, because once it's done that, it's game over for them. Everyone will be at it. 